Han Dalabrach Ali Crawford with Art Ida Ring and a sports side Ada Hocker Kamalua is bigger deal and the blending can be yeah. Session CrossFit. So CrossFit is it is fundamentally just a, a style of training if you like. So it incorporates pretty much everything to do with fitness. So it's kind of functional fitness um, and it has all sorts of movements in it. So it's not focused on weightlifting or focused on kind of cardio. It's pretty much a bit of everything. So it kind of pulls together all different aspects of training, all different methods of training, exercise, movements, um, and just packages it up as a, a sport, if you like. I found CrossFit in 2013 when a gym opened in East Kilbride and I'd heard of it before then. Um, and I suppose, yeah, I quite liked the idea of how varied it was. Um, and I liked, also liked the idea that all of the classes are coach-led, so it's almost, it's like quite a safe environment to kind of learn new skills and to learn new movements. Um, and I, th I suppose, like, being slightly on the older side, when I first started it, I liked the idea that despite being a little bit older, there was still lots of opportunity to learn new skills and to practice new movements that I had never tried before. A dosh, Hoshi Ali and Mach since sports is on B Kumal Fut. I guess van par social to the crossfit according to the Akucha. Akla Tivka Ma Fat Pushakaike, Karo Fatamus Roy a Puktigi Hain Kukrui. I mean I'm always I've been quite a competitive person my whole life and I think part of what I enjoyed about CrossFit was the fact that all of the workouts um, are kind of, a lot of the workouts are benchmarkers if you like, so there's like so many workouts that you can do and you can time yourself or you can see how much weight you can lift and then you kind of revisit the same workouts like later on in the kind of year or whatever and then you can see progress and stuff like that. In 2016 I um, was 40 and when you turn 40 in CrossFit you moved into like a master's um, kind of category. So I realised then that when I was benchmarking myself against other um, ladies my age that do CrossFit quite at quite a high level, that I was quite competitive and that I could probably make a wee go of seeing if I could take it a bit further. But Ali is on Echke, Chekho Masavaya, and in the Luch, Lisi can Ela and the CrossFit, if an owner see a hail. As he a golf on Yers Kunyers, boy he a nurse and grow him as can yelling a share than two, Agus Glee Yacha, I can get me can CrossFit. Because what happens after the Open is if you are in the top, um, at that time it was the top 200 in the world for your age group, you moved to the next stage. And that's where it's um, a little bit more serious, the weights are a little bit heavier, the skills are a bit more complex. Um, and at that stage, you have to have all your workouts filmed, you have to have a judge that's been on a judging course, and your scores are verified by CrossFit headquarters, so it's like a lot more serious. But still, it's like, it, you just do it in your own kind of gym environment. Um, and the top 20 from that stage move on to the CrossFit Games in America. So I just missed out in 2017 and then in 2018 I made it to the CrossFit Games for the first time um, as a master and uh, yeah, I finished 14th that year and I think at that time I was like really happy with my performance because I didn't have any expectations much higher than that to be honest. Just the qualifying was like such a huge accomplishment for me and I think for anyone, like for the gym and everything, it was like at the time I was the first person from Scotland to qualify the way they do the qualification process. Um, so I was the first person from Scotland to qualify, so that in itself was a huge achievement. So like I say, I kind of went into the competition that year just really happy to have qualified um, and then just continued with my training. And then this year I moved into the next stage category, which is the 45 and to 49 year olds and um, yeah, qualified again and it was a slightly more successful trip this time. And believe this, who are they who are all going to get me can CrossFit howling in the medica? I guess Craig Rigi is in Darna Arche, Erp Inkentach. He launched a volley and saw the spars, spars are hard, carmenid lay hard ski. Had this it's not plenty can me get it. I think that's what's great about CrossFit. It's like somebody my age is still able to like feel as though they're like an, a proper athlete and have like experiences like that. Um, 
I mean, it's just an unbelievable, the CrossFit Games is just an unbelievable experience. It's like, it's kind of like the Olympics of CrossFit. So to, to get there is amazing. When I finally got to America this year, it was just like such a relief to have like made it through over all the hurdles to get there. And like I say, I, I felt really fit. Like I trained quite well this year. And I just felt like, I don't know, I had a really kind of positive mindset in terms of my capabilities. And I knew that if I performed well in the workouts that were um, released, then I could be in with, I didn't think I would be in with a shout to come um, in the top three. I thought perhaps fifth or sixth. Um, but yeah, it was a, it was a good, a good lot, a good week away for me and um, delighted to come second. I, I think, yeah, I've definitely put Scotland on the map albeit at a master's level, but um, for a Scottish athlete to have podiumed at the CrossFit Games is a pretty big deal because CrossFit is a real growing sport. Um, it's huge in America, really big like in Australia and in Europe and the UK, it's getting bigger and bigger. There's gyms opening up all the time. And like I said at the start, most people join it just because it's a really fun way to train. Um, but more and more people are taking it more and more serious and it's almost becoming a way of life for people um, and albeit it's not a professional sport but people train like it's a professional sport and it's so important to so many people the ones that want to be competitive with it so I do feel that like coming from Scotland and achieving what I've achieved it almost makes it like a, a realistic kind of goal for people whereas before perhaps people thought Oh, never managed to make it to the CrossFit Games. It's almost like, well, Ali did and she came second, so perhaps it's, it's more achievable than we think.